All right, folks, welcome to cruising. Yep, we're going a little bit off-road, but not really, because if you look at the tires on this 21 uh, Jeep uh, Wrangler 4XE Unlimited Sahara, you're not gonna go off-road too much with this because this is more of the domesticated version. If it was a Rubicon, it would have a little bit more aggressive tires and wheels. Not that it doesn't have four-wheel drive, it has all the bells and whistles, but what's unique Check out the baby blue tow hooks. Now, why would they paint their tow hooks baby blue? Well, this is an XE, which is a plug-in hybrid. That's right. They decided to throw a little electric on top of this uh, four-cylinder turbo that really gets up and goes and gives you plenty of horsepower, like 375 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque. And what the off-roaders found by going to full electric for 21 miles estimated, you got tons of torque and it seems to be a little bit more you know, usable. Now it does have a two liter uh, inline four cylinder turbocharged motor, 375 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque. So you've got what you need to go off road, but with 21 miles of electric, this also gives you a different option if you do decide to go off-road. Or maybe if you're just driving this thing on the street, got the family, you know, the first 21 miles, if you keep it in town, it's all gonna be electric. It's not gonna cost you a dime. Uh, the mileage on this is they're estimating with the electric 49, gas 20. I got 22.7 coming in to do this segment. And I'm a kind of a hyper miler kind of a guy. So yeah, it's still not the mileage, you know, vehicle that you're looking for, but it does give you an option to go E, which I think is really quite nice. Now being the Sahara, holy moly, this thing's top of the line. I mean, they've got leather seating with beautiful gold stitching uh, all along the, uh, the door panels and the seats. It's got, all the things you want, heated seats, great navigation, front camera, rear camera, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I mean, it's got an eight speed automatic transmission that'll help you uh, get from point A to point B. In the past, as you know, if you owned a Jeep and you took the top off, you had to have a degree from MIT. And it was real cumbersome. If you got it off, chances are you weren't gonna get it back on. Well, Jeep listened to the customer. And here is the magic toolkit. Let me show it to you. This is what happens when you lock an engineer in the closet and tell him don't come out until you have an answer. There's the answer. Isn't that amazing? You got the instruction book, you got a nice ratchet, an extension, and you could probably pretty much take that Jeep apart in a matter of no time at all. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Jeep likes instruction books. Check this out. With that tool and a couple extensions, you can remove the doors. You can take the big spare tire off. You can take that back top off if you like. You can literally take this vehicle apart in no time at all by yourself. How simple is that? And then of course, putting it back on is not difficult at either. And I got a sneaky feeling if you love YouTube like we love YouTube, there's probably a video that shows you how to do it. So if you buy a Jeep and you really want to take it apart, take the doors off, you have no problem with it because everything goes back on. It doesn't take any kind of rocket science. You can go out to the desert, enjoy yourself, have a great time, you know, with all your family and friends. And then when you're done, like if a storm comes in, boom, you can put it all back on. Is that thinking or is that listening to the customer? I think it's listening to the customer. And here's where you, you'll put your roof, you'll start removing this rear hard top. Now the downside to this, and there is a downside, and I might as well tell you. Yeah, it's simple to do, it's easy to take off, it's a piece of cake, but once you take everything off, where are you gonna put everything? It's not a bad thing, but it's a question. Where are you gonna put all your, your roofs, your doors, so it's something that you have to think about. You have to pre-plan. It's not like you can take all of this equipment off and store it in the Jeep, which that would be kind of silly. 
So if there's a downside, that would be it. But for pe people that love to run around out at the desert or on the beach, and they love that wide open feel, that convertible feel, this, this guy will do it. Don't lose your toolkit. Don't lose your toolkit. I don't know how expensive they are, but don't lose your toolkit. So what I want to show you on this Jeep is kind of interesting, and that's the sunroof. I mean, this thing has got an amazing, an amazing sunroof that you don't see too often on very many Jeeps. You have got sunshine galore all the way back for passengers and drivers. That's, that's pretty solid. I mean, really, when you come down to it. Tons of storage space, beautiful stitching. Now, I, I gotta be honest with you, this is an issue that I'm not a fan of, and that is the way the door opens. It opens to the curb. So if you're gonna load, you gotta go around the door, okay? I, I just not, I'm just not a fan of that. Uh, you've got your subwoofer back there. I just, I won't beat myself up on it, but you got your subwoofers back here. Your seat split 60-40, so you can go to the big box store, pick up all your stuff. You've also got, this is for your charging. You know, you can charge up 110. It takes about 12 hours if the battery's totally dead. If you plug in the, the level two, then you can get it pretty much charged up in about two hours, believe it or not. Full roll cage, nothing wimpy about it. Speakers are mounted up in the uh, roll cage itself. They've been doing that forever. They're all the way to the front. You can see the great big gray boxes, but they have been doing that for as long as I've known Jeep putting sound systems in it. I do like the way the back end opens up. It's, it's nice and easy, nothing fancy. The windows just comes down. You do that first, slam this, and you're good. Uh, you can tow with this vehicle, of course, it's a Jeep. Uh, here's something that you're going to see a lot of, and they're called, Jeep likes to call them Easter eggs. Here's one here, okay, right there. It's, it's the little old military Jeep. And if you come around, you have to look all over. It could be in taillights, it could be in headlights. They have another one right here. It's kind of small, but it's there so that you can, you can find it. And, and they do that just for fun. And they kind of, you know, the designers kind of have a contest. I'm gonna look in the tail light, see if they have anything hidden in here. No, nope, don't see anything on this particular one. The drive on this vehicle is uh, exceptional. Why? Look at the wheelbase. I mean, the wheelbase on this thing is massive. So when you're going down the freeway, then this thing really absorbs the bumps it absorbs everything. It's just really, really, really a nice, a nice ride. You could put four people in it comfortably, which we did, three people in it, drove to LA. It, it was an absolute uh, dream to drive. Uh, accessorization, we don't have enough air time. There's so much you can do to this Jeep, everything from winches to brush guards to everything imaginable. Jeep at the dealership has just tons and tons and tons of stuff that you can, like I said, you can personalize this thing to the T. Uh, I love the blacked out wheels. You know, depending on what you're gonna do, you can choose the type of tires and wheels. Voice command with Bluetooth, once you get behind the wheel of this thing. Uh, you've also got uh, level two. Like I said, the level two charger will get you up in two hours. 110 will get you at about 12. Heated seats, got a cold weather group on this. Uh, e now, one thing I found out from, uh, is that if you pop the hood on this, which is not difficult to do, but if you happen to pop the hood and then you go to charge it, because the hood is, because the hood is released, it will not charge, all right? So that's something for you to think about is when you're getting ready to charge this thing up, for, you gotta make sure the hood's closed. Kind of a strange quirk, but that's not the first time I've seen, seen that happen. Uh, you've got the prop rod, which is 
And you've got yourself a little two liter, nothing fancy. Easy to check all your fluid levels like we've talked about in the past, which Jeep makes it really, really easy to, uh, to do. You've got a pretty good high level uh, vehicle. So when you wanna go into the, if you need to get into the water for whatever reason, you know, you've got uh, your air inlet here is such that it's pretty high up. So, I mean, you could literally, I don't know, get into water up to the bottom of these fenders and not have an issue as long as you're not going 90 miles an hour. And then, of course, there is an adapter you can get from Jeep that'll give you a snorkel, which will run it above the uh, A-pillar. Typical front end, this is your camera and radar for safety because it has all of the pedestrian, you know, avoidance and lane departure and you name it it's all right there so they don't they don't fool around with that at all and they've stuck with the same old-fashioned you know hood locks that they've had for since, since back in the 40s you know and it, it's it's kind of cool it, it, it harkens back to the to the original willis and it's willis not willies will list so that's kind of the exterior many 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 colors and again as i mentioned before the baby blue you know depicts the fact that it is a hybrid uh, so there you go that is the jeep wrangler 4x unlimited sahara we don't know if it'll fit your lifestyle but the only way to find out is go down and try it out but you know what you've been listening to cruise and, and this is the new jeep and if you like and subscribe to our channel You'll always be up to date. You'll never miss an episode. And uh, stay tuned, because there is a whole lot more coming, because we're going down the road cruising.